frightening and frustrating for most Nigerians. We have received reports from all geographical zones in Nigeria and the message adds they are all the same. People are complaining of the snail speed at which the PVCs are being dispatched and provided. No, 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 no. Going by the election timetable, which is in accordance with Section 28, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022, the Presidential and National Assembly election will hold on February 25th. The Governorship and the State Assembly election will hold on March 2022, um, in March 2022. And many Nigerians who register for PVC are still finding it difficult to collect their PVCs. The imagination is becoming hollow. If you take a close look at INEC tell table, you have less than 12 days left for PVCs to be collected by Nigerians. And a long queue for hours about 500 PVC collectors, only 220 or less than 50 people being given card in word designation. What kind of miracle would I not go to to ensure that all Nigerians get their PVCs as registered? The process for collection starts on December 12th and is expected to end on Sunday, 22nd of January. And yet, out of the numbers that are supposed to collect the PVCs, many are still complaining that the PVCs are not ready for collection. INEC officials resume by 9 a.m. and close by 3 p.m. And from information reaching us, the INEC staff in most cases resume from 11, day, 11 a.m. daily. Today is 11th of January, and by the 2nd of this month, the process will be closed. What's going to be the fate of those who couldn't get their PVC cards? We have said in different fora that on no account should any Nigerian be denied his inalienable right to cast his or her own vote. Either should open up on this deliberate designation design weak operation to Nigerians before people start believing that the apex electoral body has a hidden script or hidden agenda. First, to go back to your polling unit and mobilize and canvas along 176,846 polling units across the country. We are having 10, 10 canvassers in each of those polling units to continue to mobilize people but you see, the problem is that we can mobilize them, and when the PVCs are not there, they will end up into a total chaos. And that's why we are trying to avoid that. Where we are mobilizing, where we are asking our members to go out and collect the PVC, we are asking, asking them, INEC itself, to make sure that those PVCs are provided as at when do and at very accessible time. Do you suspect sabotage? We are feeling that this is, you know, an arrangement in order to deny the 12.5 million Nigerian youth who registered to vote. And if these voters cards are not collected on time, it may be an attempt to weaken our strong base based on the Nigerian youth who have come out en masse to support our candidate. And so we are actually demanding that INEC make sure that these PVCs are provided as a when do, considering the timing that is available. So it is left for INEC to either increase the dates as it were, or make sure that there is availability of those PVCs on time. Remember, the Big Ten, under the leadership of Professor Pat Otomi and my humble self, did a demonstration to INEC office last year, raising alarm on the regard to the issue of PVCs. So this is coming to fold now, and that's why we are reading the second alarm. We actually said at that time, that will be the first alarm that we will raise. And this is the second alarm to the timing. Considering that we have two weeks left for collection of the PVC, it is in their preview to make sure that they increase the date 
and make it available for every Nigerian to have access to it. People go there and stay for hours to didn't collect their PVC. This morning here in Enugu, I got a call while I was at a radio station. Somebody who went to locality and he said they have to move him to say to come to Aquara Square to come and collect his PVC. And he has to move from point A to point B, considering the heavy use of personal resources, considering that there is a fuel scarcity. And this can be what is going on all over the Federation from the report that we are getting. So please, we are asking INEC to make sure that they increase the dates 